Hi, I'm Mari Shankar and I'm part of the business development at Ecom Systems. This video is about the Ecam 50C 5642 underscore mod, a custom lens camera module. This camera module features Omnivision's OV 5642 image sensor and has a standard S mount 12mm lens holder on top of it. The S mount is a standard lens mount and there are dozens of lens vendors who provide the lens that will fit on the camera module. The OV5642 is an HD CMOS image sensor and can support frame rates of 720p up to 30 frames per second. This image sensor is targeted for video surveillance, security and visual inspection. On the rear side, this camera model exposes an 8-bit or 10-bit interface based on whether you want to have an YUV or RAW image capture. This interface connects to the host processor interface or ISP. Along with this, it has also got the mandatory camera signals like HeadSync, VSync, etc. The host processor here can be the OMAP 35X, the DM3730 or any processor that supports the standard CMOS sensor interface. For people who might be wondering, why do we not go for the standard cell phone type pixel lens camera module and why do we go for these kind of solutions? There are four reasons. Number one, customers need a zoom lens solution. They would like to go for optically zoom lens for 3x or 9x zoom. Number two, some customers would need fixed lens but would need a focal length adjustment. They would say that they would need 2.5 cm optic distance and some even come and say that they need a 10 meters optic distance. This again needs lens adjustments. Number three, there might be need for spectral filtering like IR filter removal or IR filter on it. Number four, field of view or viewing angle adjustments. Some applications might need 120 degrees field of view, whereas security applications might need just 30 degrees field of view. All these four parameters which I mentioned are adjustable using a custom lens solution. You can see that these are different lenses. You have a magnifying lens, you have a wide angle lens, and you have a normal viewing angle lens. So these lenses can be easily fitted inside this camera module. You can fit the magnifying lens this way. Now let's look at some demonstrations of using this camera model with this magnifying lens. We'll interface this camera model to the OMAP 3530 EVM board. The camera module as we said before has a 40 pin interface which can be directly connected to the host processor's camera interface. Here we have a daughter card for facilitating some power requirements required by the camera module and also to match the connector on the EVM board. You can connect the camera module to the daughter board this way. There's a small 40 pin header on the daughter board which connects this camera module and now this daughter board goes inside the OMAP 3530. We have the OMAP 3530 board connected to the DVA monitor. The camera module with the magnifying lens is connected to the OMAP 3530 processor with this daughter board. We have a dollar hundred build here. The dollar hundred bill has characters microprinted on the coat of Benjamin Franklin and this is not possible to see with the naked eye. What we are going to do in our demo is that we are going to see these char microprinted characters using our ecam 50 underscore c 5642 underscore mod on the OMAP 3530 EVM. Here we have the dollar bill placed under the lens and we are reading United States of America microprinted on the Benjamin Franklin's coat. This has been possible because this lens is an optical zoom lens and of course any text capturing software can then decode this text and interpret it as a valid bill. The camera model is streaming the video at 720p at 30 frames per second and the OMAP processor is capturing it and then throwing it to the display at the same frame rate. We have some photos using the wide angle lens primarily targeting security. These photos have been shot inside our office and also the landscape outside our office. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you require more information, you can check out our product information on the website. And also we have a very useful article for you on how to choose the lens for your camera module.